Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I'm going to revisit my team based melee combat system and I'm going to fix some problem that I'm having that troubling me a little more. So this is what I'm going to fix today. So let's say now these two guys, uh, this uh, actually lets to be clear let's uh, take a simple scenario otherwise it looks messy all right so I'll start from here so that they wouldn't see me first right now this uh, this guy is focused on me and this blue enemy is focused on that red enemy so even when I hit him from behind, he don't care about me. He just focused on that red enemy. So what I'm going to do is when I hit him from behind, he will turn his focus into me and he will look at me and he will uh, attack me. So that's what I'm going to do today. All right, so let's get started. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you are giving me. Okay, so back to work. So, this is my human character. And this is my AI blueprint. So, I hope now that you guys are familiar with my AI blueprint because I have done a lot of tutorials before on these subjects. Okay, so now let's quickly remind how this attacking and selecting enemies happen. So right here with the toggle attack mode this AI gives this uh, enemy character selected by or seen by the AI controller and passed it into the character blueprint through this interface as we uh, call toggle attack mode right so when this is passed to the character blueprint which is ch human actually i have implemented that toggle attack mode under enemy right here so this is the target enemy so that the player lock onto that enemy uh, locking means he keeps looking at the at him right so now what I am going to do is once I attack some enemy or once some guy attack another guy I'm gonna turn that the character who attacked this character as the enemy and lock into them so this is how I am going to do it this is where I check hit and right here so we get the closest enemy and if the closest enemy is not is valid we perform these attacks like this okay so anyway so in here when this condition is completed that means that uh, enemy character is getting a valid hit it can be either a getting hit or a block so here if i locked i'll just do it and show you show you guys so it would be easier right so now this is the reference to the enemy and enemy character and 
what is the right this one okay so I'm gonna call this toggle attack mode right here with the interface core now actually the enemy is not this wait I should use a message at okay and the enemy is self or whatever the character who is performing the attack and enable right now let's check if there is any problem with that approach well I I think uh, yeah we have a little problem so this do once no actually this is not relevant to our scenario but still this do once node is not reset so we should reset it here that's something that I not relevant to this scenario but I should have done it and I wonder why didn't I see that okay I think yeah I think that's it and let's check if that works as expected so right I'll spawn from here because so that uh, those guys will not see me at first and they will be focused on other enemies right now they are fighting and I will attack him from behind right now he looked at me and actually the same goes for the other characters as well so if that guy attack from behind this guy will look at him okay anyway now I think that this is better because he has some kind of a sense about me in this scenario okay right so I think uh, that's all I have to do here and that's all I want to do for today and just like this step by step part by part let's make this combat system perfect well I don't know actually I don't have a proper idea how long it would take but definitely I'm gonna keep doing this until this looks like a proper triple A quality melee combat system all right and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and there will there you will have access to the project files as well and also if you have any more questions you can ask me in patreon or in the comment section of the youtube video and right hope you learned something and see you in the next episode goodbye